Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm gonna redo my entire pantry. Since my baby is almost on the way, I wanted to go ahead and get this project knocked out. So if you guys wanna see how I turn this hot mess into something that's super organized, keep watching this video. This is the before of the pantry. There is no sort of organization. Stuff is kind of just on shelves. But we are going to fix all of that with our new containers. So here I have a bunch of different containers that I ordered from Amazon. Just to show you guys a few of them. These will be used to store a lot of the food. That will be going in the pantry. I've got some bins of different sizes. All here. I also have a spinning disc to store ketchup and syrup and things like that. That'll just go in the pantry. And then my game changer right here. <laughs> I ordered a bunch of seasoning holders because in the pantry, as you guys saw in the before, I have just a whole bunch of seasoning containers that need to be organized. And I'm gonna place all of them on the shelf here. So this will end up being the seasoning holder rack. So it's perfect. It already came like this when I got the house. So I'm gonna just use this extra storage space to store all of these seasonings that you guys see here. So it'll be super cute and very organized. These are the labels that I will be using to put on our seasoning containers. I've already got one of them already started. So this is what all of our seasoning containers will look like once we put them in the pantry, like I showed you guys in the intro. So I'm just gonna, well, cannot talk. I'm just gonna take the old paprika seasoning container, open that up and we will pour it into the new container, if I can get it open. Now we've got it open and I'm gonna be using this contraption here that came in the set. It makes it so much easier to pour. We're just gonna pour the seasoning on in there. So this is the final product. We've got some of the seasoning in here. I still have a little bit left, so I'll probably use another container. But like I said, I've got a whole box full of these. So we're just gonna keep going at it until all of these ugly seasoning containers are looking like this. All right, you guys. So I have cleared out this whole area that was just full of seasonings. And now they are all organized and arranged on my rack and the door. And so now I'm kind of just taking different foods like the pastas and spaghettis and I'm adding them to our containers that we have here. So I already started with the spaghetti. I'm gonna put rice in here and some more pasta in another container. And then I'll just continue this process until we get to the packaging goods that we'll put in these containers over here. Now for these little small containers that I have, these two, I'm probably just gonna fill them with like extra pasta because these are too small for like sugar to go into. So I'm probably gonna order another set of these just because these hold more space. So again, this set is from Amazon. It comes with seven containers. I'm gonna order another set just because I have more items that I would want to take out of their packaging to put in these containers. But for the most part, as a starter point for me, as I get my pantry under control, this works great. So now we're gonna move on to the part where I take out the packaged goods and start putting them in the containers that I showed you guys in the beginning. So this is kind of what I'm working with right now. I've already got this shelf arranged. I ordered this disc spinner from Amazon. I'm probably gonna get another one of those just to hold the different oils and I'll put that 
on this top shelf and the spaghetti will also go on this top shelf because it's too tall to fit anywhere else. And then I've just started putting the containers down. I'm gonna order two more of this size containers to go right here. But now I'm kind of just getting everything out, throwing away anything that's old and expired and really just, you know, getting organized before I put everything in the container racks. extra containers came in from Amazon today so I can finally put all the rest of the stuff that I had out away so now that's what I'll be working on and then I ordered two more containers on the bottom shelf and so we'll put all that stuff away too and then we'll just keep storing and organizing everything until the pantry is all nice and neat Alright you guys, so here is the final reveal. Voila! Pantry is now organized. This rack, it's actually a shoe rack. It just came in today, so I used it to put some extra things on that just wouldn't fit on the different shelves. But yeah, this is my new and improved organized pantry. I love it, especially this like spinning rack. Like it makes it so easy to get to all your different condiments that you need. I have a second one, a second one up here. And yeah, this is the whole thing, you guys. Took me three days to finish. Just waiting on different Amazon shipments to come. Princeton loves it. Right, Princey Poo. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any tips of how you organized your pantry, comment them below, and I will see you all next time. But don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it.